Hi everyone and welcome to our official YouTube channel, Tom Hartley Cars. I'm Carl Hartley and today we're going to be talking Lamborghini Aventador SV versus the SVJ. Now this is not a review on both cars. Obviously there's YouTubers out there that do such a great job. Um, so this is not a review. What this is is more of like a buying guide for somebody. All three of these cars that we have in stock are our stock. They're for sale. I'll go through extras, I'll go through features, I'll go through the difference and then at the end we're going to talk price and you're going to make your mind up which one you want to buy. Okay so firstly, this is our fifth take by the way, so firstly we're going to go to the uh, Aventador SV which is Giallo Orion which we like to call here yellow, um, five takes to say that. So if you have a look around this car, this is a one owner car from new and only done 500 miles, 2016 delivered. Um, what I like about this car is it's very, very special compared to other SVs. The carbon fibre that's on the car that is actually a standard feature is finished in a polished effect rather than a matte. Matte comes as a standard. This one has a polished effect carbon on the wing, the rear diffuser, the intakes, the engine cover, the side vents, the front vents. It just, it, it just pops out here, which, which I quite like. What I also like about this car from my experience and having quite a lot of Aventadors, is the comfort seats. Now these seats make it okay for you to drive a 250, 300 mile round trip and not need a back operation when you're finished. Where it lets it down a little bit is if you wanted to do a lot of track work, um, they don't quite hold you in like the sport seats. I don't do a lot of track work. Um, so I would prefer the, um, the comfort seats, but nonetheless, um, this is very nice in here. Carbon fibre doors, carbon fibre everything, I mean everything is pretty much carbon fibre. 500 miles, which is, um, you know, you're buying a, a nearly new car that you can guarantee has only really been looked after. It's full PPF, uh, paint protection film, which is so important on a, on a colour like this, because if you did have to do some paint work on sort of a three layer stage, paint as this, um, it would cost a few pence. So I would, I would suggest doing that. SVs, um, SV coupes are one of 600. So this is a limited edition car. Same as the SVJ is also a limited edition, but just something I think you should all know. Lovely yellow stitching, yellow piping, yellow decals. So um, yeah, this is a, um, this is a Okay, so the next car I'm going to show you is also manufactured and delivered 2016. It's finished in Verde Ithaca, which is my favourite colour in a Lamborghini Aventador. I'm not going to lie, this is, um, this is exactly the colour I would order, black wheels. Difference on this car to the yellow car, like I said earlier, is this has the matte carbon fibre finish. So diffuser, engine cover, air intakes, they're all matte carbon fibre. Now, that's on some cars that's a big extra to have a matte carbon fibre because this is standard it's a big extra not to have matte carbon fibre you know that's how it works um, this car um, has the sport seats so opposite to the yellow car great for track work and if you're really going to put this car through the paces that it um, deserves to be put through these seats are by far the best seat if you want a, um, a car to use and do more miles in Speaking totally honest, that they're very, very uncomfortable, um, but they're great round a track, and when you're going fast, they hold you in absolutely fantastic. So, this is a really, really good car. This car's only covered 1500 miles, um, full Lamborghini service history. All the cars that we have, we try our hardest to buy the best examples with manufacturing service history. I don't really want a car, you know, that's three or four years old that's been serviced here, there, and everywhere by, you know, specialist dealers that are not certified in this kind of thing. I want to send it back to Lamborghini. Um, it's more expensive, but that service book just looks nicer when you, uh, when you open it and it says the Lamborghini stamp. Um, both these cars are the same price, which we'll get to later. Um, but now it's time to show you our three-month-old Lamborghini SVJ. I mean, look at it. It's, it's just... 
the way I the way I look at this car is very very similar to what um, Horatio Pagani done with uh, a Lamborghini Contas. So he took he took a car which was like a standard car, a 5000S for instance, or QV, and he made it the anniversary edition and put all sorts of bits and pieces on it. Now these are not just to look more extreme. These actually do things. These um these add-ons. What this car really benefits from. I mean, it has 20, 20 brake horsepower more than the SV, but that's not what you're paying for. What you're paying for is the downforce that this car gives you. This is not the fastest car around the Nürburgring for no reason. I mean, this car severely handles really well. Also, rear wheel steer, which also, when you're doing 180 miles an hour around a corner, can help. Um, it has these active aerodynamic I've been told not to say the word flaps, but that's the only thing I can really call them. These, uh, these open and close on acceleration, brake and turning, which is quite cool. So much carbon fiber. Now with this car being black, you, you lose quite a lot of the carbon fiber from a distance, but up close you really see it. Um, absolutely loaded with carbon fiber. Here, wing mirrors, side skirts. These are all to make the car a bit more chunky, a bit more aggressive looking and feeling. Um, the rear engine bay I love, um, a, an option that I always, when specking, when specking an Aventador, I could never decide on was do you have the transparent engine bay, do you have the carbon engine bay, what do you have? Well, on an SVJ they sort that problem out because we've got everything, we've got transparent, it's carbon, it's covered, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, the whole car is designed for the air to be pushed back onto this rear wing to push the arse of the car down so you can go around a corner really fast with the four wheel steering and you become Lewis Hamilton. Um, back of the car, the exhaust moved, that big carbon rear diffuser. Now like I say, on a black car you have to look at it a bit deeper to find the, the carbon but you know if this car was Verde Ithaca, um, it would really stand out, but to some people that might be too, too much of a contrast. It's a mean car, it's a mean colour. So there you go. Um, one thing I would recommend on these cars, uh, because you're going for the more hardcore version, or the most hardcore version of an Aventador, is the sport seats. Now this car does have sport seats. We talked earlier about them not being so comfortable, but you know this is not your daily. You're not commuting an hour to work every day in this car. This is your fun car. This is a car you're probably going to take round a track and, and push to the end. As you can see in here, um, very similar to the other Aventadors, um, similar interior, all carbon fibre, um, slight difference in stitching and stuff, but nothing really to, uh, to panic about. Um, and this car is a, um, a late, late 2019 car with 1,700 miles. So, what we want to talk about now, this is where my expertise really comes in, because I told you this is not a review, this is a buyer's guide, is price. What the difference is in price, what I think is the better car to buy, but I'm going to let you make the decision. So now let's talk about the most important topic of this video, and that is price. Everything comes down to price, and for those who are looking to buy an Aventador, whether it be an SV or an SVJ, price has got to play a big factor. Now, the two SVs that we've got are both um, 2016 cars, both on less than 2,000 miles. I mean, this one's on 500 miles. Full Lamborghini service history. You know, no questions asked. These cars are the best on the market, and they're both priced at 270,000. Sports seats, comfort seats, gloss carbon, matte carbon, you know, you have, you have a choice there to go whichever one you, you, you want to go. Now the question is, and the topic of the video is, would you pay a further £80,000 for an SVJ? That's a good question. It's a three year younger car. It's obviously under manufacturer's warranty. It's a new model. It's absolutely insane to drive and to look at. I think the, um, the changes in styling really updated the car. Um, and it's, um, it's, it's a great example. This car's done 15, 
uh, 1,700 miles, and it's priced at £350,000, which is the most competitive priced Lamborghini Aventador SVJ on the market anywhere in the UK. That's why this video is so interesting, because these cars are coming down, SVs have come down, and you know the, the questions there for an Aventador owner, whether they've got a Roadster or an S, I can upgrade to an SV for not much money. Somebody who's got an SV is now looking at an SVJ and thinking, I can upgrade to an SV at not much money. You know, these cars are no longer £450,000, they're £350,000. So, two types of buyers. One buyer is the kind of person who wants, he wants what he wants. He wants the best car, he's probably had an SV, and in that case, the SVJ at an £80,000 difference is value. It's a good price. The guy who's coming out of a Ventador S or Roadster or, or whatever it may be, SVs are also a good price and your limit has to stop somewhere. Not everyone's got a bottomless pit where they can just go, okay, well, I'll just buy the SVJ. Personally, if I'm going to make a decision, I really value the £80,000 in the difference. I think that's a really fair number. Um, and if I was buying one of these three cars tomorrow, my money would probably lie in the SVJ due to three-year newer car, new model, the styling is incredible, the performance is incredible, and um, that's the verdict of the video, if you ask me. So thank you all for watching our first video on our Tom Hartley official YouTube channel. Um, be plenty more videos to come. Try to keep it short and sweet, keep you entertained. Thank you very much for viewing. Catch you again.